First of all, I want you to pick three objects that have volume to it. At least two of the objects should be round. So that cup counts as a rounded object and so does the bell pepper. I'm recommending that you work life size and you start out with pencil first. So I would choose a cheapy kind of drawing paper. I'm using white printer paper, but you could use lined binder paper too, that's fine. So not the art paper that I gave you, but something a little bit cheaper because it's just a practice. And what I'm doing here is I'm outlining things. It's a good idea to try having one object overlap. So you can see that's what's happening with the pepper. The pepper is in front of the cup, so it's overlapping. And there's that apple slice on its own. And it's also good to have three objects that are a little bit different. So the bell pepper is kind of like a sphere and the cup is a cylinder. And then there's that kind of geometric shape of the slice of apple. And then you can go in and start to outline with pen. And this is going to work very similar to that exercise that we did on Friday or Thursday of last week where you get the latitude and the longitude, but you're really thinking about wrapping it around the form. So those lines are closer together at the edge and they kind of widen or open up as they get to the middle and then they tighten again as they go towards the other edge. And I am using a pen for this, so I'm just using kind of a felt tip marker pen, but it's a fine point. So you, you can use whatever kind of pen you have, including ballpoint pen. You just want to make sure that your point is a sharp point or a fine point. And again, two directions with this. And I'm not doing the stem. You probably saw that, that I'm not doing the little stem there. I'm leaving that alone. I am giving it some texture. So I am curving those lines both to the right and to the left. So right now they're curving and there's a bow to the left, like a C shape, but now it's changing, it's flexing going the other way. That's important to do. So it's just following the contours of the object itself to give it volume. And same kind of deal with the cup. You can, you can see the line there is curving, almost like I'm trying to put stripes on a coffee mug. And it's up to you if you want to outline your object. I think I went back in towards the end and I did outline the sides of the cup. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward this a little bit. And I am using a little bit of hatching and cross hatching. But it's more along the lines of contour. On the apple, you'll notice that I used straight lines there. I'm not using curved lines. That's because there isn't much curve to the apple except for up the front. So again, make sure to have latitude and longitude lines on those objects. I'm going to go back into the cup and work in some of those lines too. And with a cylinder, your lines definitely have to be tighter at the edge, looser in the middle. You kind of almost want to envision it as a birch bark tree, like how the birch bark wraps around a tree. When you are done, just remember to photograph it and turn that photograph into Google Classroom.